Loin d'abord. Hi guys, and welcome to a little product review and sort of little story about a, a little article I had read a while back. And the article was about a tactical pen. Now what a tactical pen is, for those of you who don't know, is a pen that's designed to be used in a self-defense situation. There's a lot of different companies that make them. Um, I'm not really a big fan of them. I have never learned how to use one. Um, but the article, or the little thing that I had read, was talking about the uh, poor man's tactical pen and what it was is this pen here this is the zebra f701 and what it is it was supposed to be a stainless steel pen that you could use or modify to use as a sort of tactical pen and it is it's a really nice little pen so when i read the little article um, i went out and purchased one and I found one of these at my local store. Um, it was actually only a five bucks, and uh, pretty cool. I thought, you know, I don't really carry a pen too much, but uh, you know, we we'll could see what it can do. Now, it had a way to modify the pen, but it was only cosmetic modifications, like removing this plastic piece here on the top, and uh, inserting from a different pen, you know, a metal piece that would uh, change it out a little bit, and then the um, the actual clip. Uh, changing that out so it's a different clip and then uh, the internals on the pen with the uh, space pen so you could use it as you know writing upside down and all that stuff so I didn't want to do any of that stuff I just wanted to get the pen and try it out and stuff and first off when I first got it you know I thought well you know it does look pretty neat and in the article they actually had the pen uh, disassembled and they were showing the uh, the thickness of the pen and stuff and I had seen it and I was like, you know, that actually is pretty thick. You know, I mean, it's it seems pretty thick. Um, then once I got it and stuff, I started looking at it. And then I found another article on it where it was talking about the pen itself. And a guy had disassembled the pen fully. And he had pointed out some feature flaws that were, uh, this actually pen sort of gives the appearance of being a very thick piece of uh, metal. But in fact, it's actually a thin flange where the it's been bent over and stuff. And inside there's an insert, a plastic insert. So it's actually not as thick as you think it is. Um, upon reading that, you know, I was like, oh, well, that's sort of a little bit of a bummer. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it just, you know, leads me to believe, you know, you can't, you have to really check out everything you read and stuff. Um, overall, it's still a great pen. Now, I'm not really one into using a pen as a weapon, and I wouldn't really know how to go about doing that. I mean, I've never been uh, to use a pen in a weapon sort of thing. I think you'd have to either uh, be trained a little bit, you know, have some different techniques maybe, and how you'd want to uh, use it, I mean, to, to hit somebody and stuff. But um, overall, it, seems, it does seem like a nice pen. Now, it is... Um, I don't believe that it is actually a full stainless steel pen also because once I did bring it home uh, I got a magnet and actually I still have the magnet here now um, the magnet is actually uh, just a small little magnet but upon putting it up against the pen uh, it, there's no real snap or I mean there's a slight draw and you can sort of feel it it's a slight draw but there's no real I mean it'll hold but it's not holding very hard I mean it can still like move around real easily and stuff now if you change it and turn it and it has the clip you snap it's it snaps really hard up against the clip so the clips an all metal clip but the actual pen body I believe has a little bit amount of metal in it I mean there's it's probably more aluminum <laughs> than it is anything else um, I have for just to prove that it is a, uh, a real magnet, you can see this is a, a stainless steel throwing knife. And uh, you can already see the magnet's reaction when I uh, sort of bring it sort of close to the, the knife blade. And you can see, you know, that it's really drawn to the uh, the metal in the, ma in, the, in the knife. So you know it is a real magnet. Now, when I take the pen, and I'll take the front of the pen, 
and uh, you don't see any movement there so it leads me to believe that this isn't really a solid steel uh, stainless steel pin it's more probably a, a composite of maybe a, a little bit of metal and some uh, aluminum or something else but there's no draw so I was a little bummed out and I uh, want to make this video now overall this is still a great pen and it like I said it uh, it works pretty well and I guess you could go ahead and modify it to take the uh, what is it the space pen cartridges and stuff and uh, that would be pretty cool but uh, as far as using it as a weapon um, I don't know you know it's it's a little bit less what I thought it would be but you know granted it was only five bucks <laughs> so um, that's you know what it is now as far as using it as a weapon uh, I have a little target here and I'm gonna go ahead and try this pen out on it now um, I would think now to use a pen as a weapon I mean if this pens in my hand um, it's pretty much only a little bit portion of it is actually gonna stick out of my hand and uh, that would actually do the actual you know impacting and I'm gonna go ahead and try it out on this little apple and uh, it actually doesn't do too bad but uh, a little messy and there is a small little happy Halloween and uh, that's the uh, the uh, zebra pen so <laughs> that's about as tactical as it's gonna get I think so uh, thanks for watching the video you guys have a good one be safe take care and if you ever see any videos on YouTube make sure you do your uh, research and stuff and uh, find out if they'll actually work so that is the uh, tactical zebra pen <laughs> pretty cool you guys have a good one be safe take care and uh, PS for watching um, I'm not gonna waste the apple so nobody give me any grief about stabbing the front of an apple on the other side you guys have a good one I'm out